This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Conan Exiles video. Today we're going to look at some strong, easy to get pets to help you in your early game. Let's get to it. So I know pets are all over the map and all you have to do is just go pick them up and they're super easy to get. But what I was looking for for this video is pets that spawn in a reliable location because some of them don't always spawn and they share a spawn and pets that are strong and can help you fight things and or tank for you. So we're going to start off with Greater Crocodiles. Greater Crocodiles are super strong. If we take a look here at the stats, 7,254 HP. He's got a bonus melee damage of 297. Hits like a freaking truck. He's got 1,098 armor. That's about 80 to 90% damage reduction. These things are total beasts. This one, 4,658. He didn't do too great in the HP department or the armor department. Let's take a look at his stats here. They're not all going to be winners, but still not bad. Can do a little bit of fighting for you. Take a look at this one. Pretty good armor. Okay. HP. Come over here. Take a look at his stats. 280% damage. You know, really good damage. The easiest place to get these guys is right here in the Noob River. They are a really good starting pet. So when you come over here, you can see where I'm at. Basically, swim across the river, come out right to about right here. You should be relatively safe till you get close to here. Be careful because the Big Daddy King Croc spawns over here, but the nest is right here. Always has a baby or two around it. Bam, there you go. Look, another one spawned. They spawn nice and reliable right here. Look, another one spawned. Look, another one spawned. It's doing that because I have instant spawn on, so I can show you that they spawn really reliable right here. Just come over here, grab you a little baby croc, and you're good to go. Next up is the Sand Reaper Queen. Now, these are freaking fantastic for lots of damage over time. They do poison attacks that just do a massive amount of damage. We take a look at the stats here. Great armor, 1,234. Once again, that's a massive amount of reduction. Okay, in the HP department, we'll take a look at the stats there. 260 additional bonus damage, ranged accuracy. She actually has a ranged attack. So this one absolutely killed it. Come over here and take a look at this one here. A little bit of extra bonus armor, a little bit of extra HP. She didn't do too great in HP. This one would probably be one that would die. I don't know. She might be able to put up a fight for a while. She doesn't have quite as much HP as I would like. But, uh, you know, once again, they can't all be winners. She didn't get a lot of bonus armor either. Take a look at this one here. She got a ton of bonus armor, decent amount of health for anything you're going to need to do early game. And uh, there's her stats. These are even easier to get. They're so easy to get, you have no idea. And if they don't end up being a Reaper Queen, they will just be a normal Reaper, which is almost just as good because they do a massive amount of poison and damage as well. You can get these super early and all you have to do is swim down New River here. Swim all the way down the river until you come out over here into the ocean area. Swim around here until you get to right about here. Once you're over here, you're going to look for this boat and then you're just going to click the boat and go to the sunken city. Okay, once you're over here, it's super easy to get these things. You're just going to run over here. Now, I highly recommend having at least 10 points in vitality before you try this. Uh, if you don't have 10 points in vitality, it may be doable, but it's going to be really iffy and you may drown by the time you get there. Uh, we will attempt to do it with and without, but what you're going to do is you're just going to jump into the water and swim right over here. As you saw, we just bypassed everything quick and easy. There are people but they're over along the edge. Uh, I don't know. They're somewhere, but you just bypass them. Now, the building that we're looking for is the broken one right here. If we dive underwater real quick, you can get a good look at it right there. That's the building that you want. That's the building with the boss. That's the building you don't want. The building that you want is right there. So we're going to swim up to the top of the water. Don't worry about running out of stamina. It's not going to hurt you. Going to swim up to the top, swim until we get to directly over top of the building. Once you're over top of the building, you are going to hit C and just start swimming down. And there's a hole right there that we can swim through to help cut a little bit of time. And as you can see, with the points and vitality, we make it down here with plenty of breath. And then we're just going to pop up right here. 
Now, you might be worried about that guy right there. You might be like, oh, that guy's going to kill me. But you don't have to worry about that guy. Just open that up. Stand right here at the door. And let these little fellas come right to you. Hey, little fella. Look at him. He comes right to you. Then you just spam E until you pick him up. There you go. You can see we just picked up a locust spawn. Hey, little fella. This guy doesn't even care about us. If this shuts on you, just wait till it shuts and then just pick it back up. Oh, look at this little fella. If that guy aggro's at you... Let's go in here and let's get him to actually aggro. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey. Okay, here we go. We got him to aggro. All you have to do is just run over here to the edge. And then you just stand right here. And as you can see, he can't do anything. You can actually just uh, pick the little spawns up right here. And he won't come after you. He doesn't care about you until you get all the way in there. If you stand right here, he doesn't give a crap. And just keep lifting up the thing. And grabbing the little locust spawns. Hey, little locust spawn. There you go. And then you just swim back out. Okay, I took the points out of our uh, vitality. We only have a little bit. We don't have the perk. And let's do this. So we're just going to swim straight down. You can see our breath goes down much faster without that perk. And even if we get there, it's going to be really, really, really close. But you're just going to do the same thing. Swim out. Swim through the hole there and then swim as straight line as you possibly can you don't want to take like any detours or anything like that you want to just swim a straight line so that you can get there quickly and easily there you go yeah see we can do it without the uh the perk as well it's just easier if you have the perk last but not least is the greater bear these guys are insane tanks so this one pretty decent hp we'll take a look at his stats there there's his stats. Okay-ish armor. They don't have the, the best armor, but what they lack in armor, they make up for in HP. Look at that. 9,212. This one has 832 armor. Take a look at his stats. 209 bonus melee damage. Uh, everything else. There you go. And if we take a look at the last one here, you can see this one has 7,705 HP. Not that great in armor. Once again, it's meh. It's okay. It will get the job done done they are still massive tanks 201 percent bonus melee damage absolute tanks and beasts and they're even easier to get than all of the others so what you're going to do is you're just going to run straight through all this crap here climb up some mountains and head up here to the highlands and you want this island right here i've deactivated cloak you can see where i am so you can see that there's also little baby cubs all over there. You can just swim right over here. There should be a mama bear or two around here as well, but they're nothing to worry about. You can just basically ignore them early game and grab the cubs and get out. So right here is a little cub. Just run in here, grab that little cub, grab that little cub, and then run back out and run back to your base. That's it. That's how easy they are to get. And they spawn there all the time. This is where is where you come to get baby bears if you want a baby bear. All right, now that I've showed you how to get the babies of all of these uh, different animals here, they should help you get your early game jump started quick and easy if you want to use a pet instead of a thrall. They are super handy and super strong if you get the greater version. They are also pretty easy to heal. If we take a look here at the croc, you can just feed him savory flesh or human flesh or feral flesh. All of these will give him your best bets, probably this one to give him the highest out of all of these that you can get early game. The Locust Queen, once again, feral flesh or all of your putrid meat is going to give her a really good healing. The bear is the absolute easiest because he gets the best healing possible out of the cooked shellfish, which are essentially free and easily farmable you don't even have to do anything just put down fish traps or the shellfish traps and walk away and he gets a massive amount of healing all right that is going to wrap it up for this episode if you like what you saw consider hitting that sub button i want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible y'all are absolutely amazing people if you'd like to join my elite crew patreon supporters please check out the link in the description below if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below let me know what you thought if you're shy you don't like to comment just hit that thumbs up button and share your support until next time thanks for watching